Hello, it's Jesse here from BC Fishing Journal. I'm not sounding that enthusiastic, but I'm trying to sound enthusiastic because it is 4.30 in the freaking morning. It is coho season, as we know. Salmon season, yes. I thought I'd just let you guys know, today we are fishing the Veta River for coho, and there was a huge amount of rain yesterday. The river spiked big time. It was muddy, it was blown, completely blown. So today, it looks like it was dropping overnight, so I have no idea. Honestly, I'm a little worried uh, that it could be a little high, but I, I really don't know. The, the, the levels looks like, looks like it is dropping, so fingers crossed. Coffee and coho, yes. All right, wish us luck. We need it. We need it with the high water. We need big baits, short leaders, something, something else. Twitching jigs? I don't know. We need something. We, we need it. All right, wish us luck. We'll talk to you soon. See you on the river. Twitching the jig. Go ho. Finally. Yep, hatch. Hatchery. There we go. Jig. Ah. You fighting one now? Oh, that's a good one, Dad. They're coming through, hey? It's a good one. That's a good size one. Looks feisty. Yeah. He's silver. He is a chromer. Look at him, he's fresh, eh? He's got lots of energy, this guy. I'm gonna tow him up. Once I make sure he's a hatch. Yeah, he's a hatch. Nice. No! Shoot, I lost him right here. You see that? Spit it right there. Heartbreak, misery. Oh well. Dad's on. On the row again, that a boy. I might switch it up back to the row now. You got me convinced. You got me believing. Here he comes. Make sure. Uh, it's a hatchery. Yep. Just gonna tow him up. I'm not even gonna bother with this one. He wasn't going anywhere, he inhaled it. Uh. 
This guy survived a few nets. Yeah. We're coming through. See these things here. Look at this guy. He went three three hatcheries and one wild angler of the day. Me, I got two hatcheries. I lost a hatchery right at my feet, which was a bit of a heartbreaker, as you guys saw. All right, so that's the trip. We had uh, just a quick morning session in the, on the Vetter River for coho salmon. That was a that was a great day, and so we were using row, twitching some jigs, and uh, just had a great time. So This is the post coffee place. This is awesome. This place is awesome. fishing trip and uh, so I cleaned the salmon at the river already I took out the eggs so this was the dough as you can see cleaned out so let's clean this bad boy up all right here we go I'm just gonna chop down to the collar just down to the backbone Ooh, that looks good once I get down to the backbone I'm just gonna work my way along the spine Right through the rib cage, we'll pull up those rib bones shortly. There we go. Nice fillet. Try to get as close to the rib cage as I can without losing any meat. All right, all there's left is the pin bones right here, so we just put those out a little bit later. Pin bones. And we are going to start cooking the coho. And one of my favorite recipes is a dry rub on a cedar plank salmon coated with a little bit of maple syrup at the very end. And I don't know about you guys, I'm sure you all have your favorite salmon recipe. This one is the best I've ever had, in my opinion. This is my style. Like I love the cedar, I love cedar plank smoke, that smoke taste with that. This, this, this rub is a little, little hot and then you get the maple syrup which gives it a little sweet it is killer anyway i'm sure you guys have your recipes i'd love to hear them if you think you have a great salmon recipe drop it in the comments but this is mine so this is the rub and this is my son he's just playing down here down below here my youngest youngest buck here hey levi what are you doing buds nothing oh yeah nothing okay uh, let's soak our cedar plank salmon so this is our cedar plank Boom, it's good to soak it for a couple hours, however long. I mean, sometimes these things are like last minute, I totally get it. Sometimes I only get to soak it for like 30 minutes. Just have a little spray gun ready beside your uh, barbecue, so when it catches on fire, you're good to go. All right, here we go. This is the dry rub recipe. So what we're gonna do is just gonna put that all in a bowl, mix it around, and that's gonna be our dry rub, which we're gonna put onto our salmon. And so let's get to work here. That's gonna be our dry rub. And again, this will do like, you know, this will probably do two or three fillets of coho, depending on the size. All right, everybody. We are about ready to get the cooking process underway. And I'm gonna pull out my soaked cedar plank and I'm gonna put the, the fish on there. And then what I'm gonna do is just coat a little bit of uh, olive oil on it with this little brush. And then I'm gonna apply the, apply the dry rub and then we're gonna, we're ready for the barbecue. And 
I'm pretty pumped about this. I'm starving. I've been up since 4.30 in the morning, so if I look a little haggard, my eyes are bloodshot, y you get the idea. Okay, here is the salmon coho that we caught today, this morning. Look at that beauty. All right, so this is just a really small piece of coho, as you can see, it's not giant. This was the smaller of the fish. There we go. Just ever so lightly. So here's the salmon rub that we made up. Don't cheap out on the spice here, boys and girls. And now, we are ready for the barbecue. So just as I'm about to start the barbecue, of course, classic downfall. Classic Vancouver weather. Oven is cooking hot. I'm gonna put this in like, I'm gonna put that on there now. I'm gonna reduce the heat, like so. can see this but we got a storm here it just it just popped out of nowhere <laughs> holy smokes all right there we go let's have a look at this bad boy oh looking good already so i'm going to guess this piece is going to take about 10 to 12 minutes so i'm going to actually start applying the uh maple syrup at about i don't know eight to ten minutes but i'm just going to keep a look keep a look on i'm going to keep this side hot but then when the maple syrup is ready this is going to come off this one's going to come off there's only gonna be one side that'll be hot, and this will slowly cook with the maple syrup and fall in love. I think we got that. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to apply maple syrup. It's pouring rain out here, so I'm doing this a little bit quicker than I probably would. That was not uh, the greatest pour, but we got her done. See there? So now what we're gonna do is let that just finish for another couple minutes, a couple more minutes, and then what I'm gonna do is just let it rest. It has to rest. I'll be back in the kitchen when it's off the grill. Okay, the salmon has survived the rainstorm. We've got some yellow peppers seasoned with a little bit of Everglade seasoning, which is also great on fish, by the way. All right, now I'm gonna cut this up, get this ready for the boys, and next will be the taste test. The official taste test for the completely unbiased young bucks that are my two sons. All right, my wife is not here, the mom's not here. She's away for the weekend, so it's a daddy, it's a boys weekend, so this is what we're eating. All right, let's quickly pray for our meal first. Okay, let's pray. And thank you, Jesus, for this day, and thanks for a great day of fishing, and for a great weekend with the boys. Bless this food to our bodies, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's try, okay, let's try the fish. Try the fish and then tell everybody what you think of it. Okay. And don't, you, don't, you don't have to sugarcoat it. Try, if you don't like it, you can say it. I'm gonna try it. Let's try it first. Yummy. What's yummy? Yeah. How yummy? That's pretty big. Levi, what do you think? Can you count that high? Can God count that high? Can mm, you count it? It's good. It's hard. Mmm. It's good? Yeah. Yummy? Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this. I hope you guys like this. If you like these type of catch and cook sort of videos, let me know. I'd love to hear that in the comments. I'll, I'll try to do some more. And if you have some good coho recipes, I'd love to hear that as well. Thanks again so much for watching. Daddy, go like this. What do I do? Like this. What does that mean? It means you take no or yes. Is that, we want people to do yes though, right? Yeah, that's what I yeah. yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.